today I'm going to give you a tour of my studio, although I feel like calling it a studio is a bit of an oversell at a few corners of our living area that have been taken over by art. In this corner of the living area, we've got a Billy bookcase from Ikea that's got a lot of our art stuff. It's either stuff that belongs to my sister and or stuff that is shared by both of us. So we'll just quickly go through this. Up the top, that's all collage stuff. A lot of collage stuff considering I never collage, but it's all neatly organized in these boxes. Next row down, art books. And just assorted bits and pieces, vases, the gargoyle belongs to Ant, skull belongs to Ant. I bought this when I was in London. These little stamps, they're really cute, but they don't stamp very well. Next shelf down, that's all Ant stuff. More random stuff on this shelf. Again, things that are good for still life drawing. That's our dog Hamish in calendar form. He doesn't look nearly that well groomed in real life. Um, then ants, acrylic paints. These are things we bought to do lino cutting, lino prints, but we don't really do lino prints that often. Um, we've got these really good schminke lino inks and haven't used them yet so have to test them out one day soon. This shelf is most of our shared drawing materials so we've got lots of pencils, pens, that kind of thing. I also have my own pencils and stuff I've got stored separately. In this, this basket I've got these boxes with Tombos, Polychromos, I don't really like using Polychromos, these are all ants. These are Holbein pencils and Derwent pencils including Ink Intense pencils, Ink Tents, not Ink Intense, and Woodies. Then we just have assorted pencils and Poscas and things that we don't use that often, like pit pastel pencils, um, other pencils I've bought to try out that haven't been so successful, and these Shikiori markers. They're quite nice, they're Japanese, and they come in the four distinct season colours of Japan. Um, this box here has shared neo colours and just random stuff. Random stuff like masking fluid, nib cleaner for fountain pens and things, and granulating medium, and another box full of just random, really random stuff. This nifty little basket has fountain pens and Fountain pen paraphernalia like cartridges and converters and just some other random bits and pieces. I don't use fountain pens much. I have a problem. Ink and I do not get along. If I'm painting with ink or using it with a nib pen, it's fine. In a fountain pen or any kind of pen, it will explode or it will just do whatever it takes to make my life a living hell. And I also have really big problems with the converters. I don't have good um, fingertips. <laughs> I don't have good fingertips. I've got diabetes and my fingertips are a little bit lacking in sensitivity and it means that the converters are almost impossible for me to use. So I'm always like, ah, can you fill up my fountain pen? Then over here we've got a box of random things, glue, pencil extenders, tape, clips, this little dot card I got with a subscription box, a broken nib pen, probably should throw that out, and my favourite thing is this really cute little 
inkwell i got this from etsy at just so vintage and cute then this box here is full of just random pens i should put that up with the other random pens box but i don't think there's enough room on that shelf for it but yeah just random pens these are and highlighter it's sometimes fun to draw with and last on this shelf is our ink collection in this box from Ikea that I hate hate so much they look like they'd be a really good idea for storage but they are full of design flaws first thing I hate about it is it's really hard to open uh, uh, and I'm always worried it's just gonna smash and then look at that the lid's too heavy so it doesn't stay up also this arm's broken on it so yeah and it's just really frustrating to use but it's where we've got our inks for the moment so that's the top level some of these are pigment inks some of them are acrylic inks The Sennelia. Sennelia inks are my favourite and that turquoise is such a beautiful colour. I shouldn't use it more. Maybe if I had yet a better storage box, I would use it more. Then in the bottom layer, these are mainly Echo Line inks, which are great for filling up your Echo Line pens or just for using as they are. I got this Parker ink. I thought it was black. I got it from Amazon so I didn't see it until it turned up. And it's blue-black, and it's more on the blue side than the black side. Annoying. In these little corners here, I got these sampling. There's an Australian company called Van Diemen's Inc. They have some beautiful colours, and I got them. They were in little vials, which I didn't like using. I mean, you can't really put a brush in one of these vials. so. I bought some contact lens containers and put all the ink into the contact lens containers. But most of these are used up now. Got this one. This is super cute. And it's got more inks in it. So that's the ink collection. Now I'm going to have to try and put this thing away. The bottom shelf is mainly sketchbooks. Most of them are ants, not mine. I've got this other one of those IKEA boxes. It's very hard to film down this low. That's full of like tubes of watercolor paint that we use to fill up half pans. Then we've got some more stuff. And that lino cut stuff should be up with the other lino cut stuff. I'll do that later. And yeah, sketchbooks. We have another smaller bookcase on the other side of the lounge room. Um, that's got mainly my stuff in it. On this side I've got my big sketchbook that won't fit anywhere else and a few things I want to scan. Um, next a roll of Japanese paper that I showed in my Japanese art haul video so I won't get that out and show you again. And then I've got this, oh, that's our scanner, flatbed scanner um, and a ream of paper at 1000 sheets of drawing paper really really handy for doing things like life drawing especially um using wet media because you know if you're using a sketchbook you've got to wait for the page to dry before you turn it whereas doing stuff on loose paper means that you just put the one sheet of paper aside grab the next one um then down here this is all my watercolor stuff so i've got a big box of schminke I'm trying to point out it there box of schminke watercolor tubes and a couple of other palettes this is the main palette I use when I'm watercoloring it's got a picture of a bish on haha <laughs> yeah it's really messy as you can see and it's just got small a small set of basic colors um, and some white gouache. I think that's white gouache. Um, 
but yeah I haven't been watercoloring much lately I want to start getting back into it though and then all my watercolor brushes I've got some brushes for gouache and I like to keep them separate because the acrylic gouache can really mess up your brushes then I've got sketchbooks lots of sketchbooks some of these are really small ones that are a little bit annoying to use this is etch a sketchbook I don't really like that this one's yeah just a cheap one that's also an etch a sketchbook I really don't like the binding in the etch a sketchbooks but I really should use them I feel like I should make an effort to get them used then over here I've got um, this is Saunders Waterford paper beautiful paper that I use for watercolour and Fabriano that I've used in a couple of my other videos down the bottom I have more sketchbooks and then just random things in this shelf also that's my notebook that I've been using for making notes for my videos and everything and then just our printer store there don't use that much I hate printers printers uh, that always make your life a living hell so that's that part of the studio okay now on to the art trolley does every single artist in the world have one of these in their studio I kind of think so from the studio tools I've watched they're so convenient on the bottom shelf I've got videoing equipment like a ring light tripod all that kind of thing that you use for making videos and I also have this wafer wafer thing that I bought I bought the wafers and I thought I'll keep that tin it'll come in handy for something guess what it's still empty months later but I'm sure one day it will come in handy for something middle layer is all acrylic gouache we've got them in this little tub thing and painted the lid so that they're easy to find I've done a heap of videos on acrylic gouache so I won't go too much into explaining what we've got here one thing I do have to say though we put all the littler tubes into this Carrera share box that we got left over from Christmas and the quality of their tins they used to be really thick plastic and really handy for storage this one's really thin flippy falls apart Carrera share get your game up on the top shelf of the trolley is the stuff that I use probably 90% of the time so yeah all the rest of it's just extras this is the where the real work happens so we'll start off here we've got pencil sharpeners rubbers my palette that I need to wash yeah I put my palette away that dirty I'm a bad person then these are the inks that I like the most favorite inks one I got from Kakamori in Tokyo again I've got a whole video on that and this one which is the Earl Grey my favorite tea and one of my favorite inks it's sort of got a bit of a purpley tinge to it almost like the Daniel Smith moon glow paint if you've used that then I've got echo lines I have got a lot of beiges in the echo lines I bought a beige set but I don't actually use beige that much so they'll probably go on use forever but this one I use a lot burnt sienna and grey then yeah got a, also bought a blue green set and I was expecting it to be blues and greens but it ended up just being all blue green shades different shades of blue green echo lines I do love using them next up this is random stuff very random stuff got a tin with a cute sticker I got from Redbubble my ink stones that I got in Tokyo again they're in my Tokyo art haul video so you can see more about them and the store I got them 
called Pigment, which is the most amazingly aesthetic place I've ever been in my life. Check that video out for more. Then crayons. I've got, what's that? Oh, screen wipe. <laughs> um, yeah, crayons. I've got a lot of these Holbein. They're like less than a dollar at my local art shop. And I've got some great colours. My favourite is this olive green. It's just gorgeous colour. Then I've got pricing up a bit. The Sennelia. They are so expensive that I'm scared to use them. And I don't like the smoothness of them, the smudginess. I'd much rather go for the cheaper ones. Then I've got a few of these. These are Prismacolor sticks. So they're like... Basically, if you took the lead out of a pencil and made it a bit more chunky, you'd get these sticks. They're quite good to use to colour in big areas. Then, box of random pens. So some, like, fountain pens, which should not be stored standing up, I know, but that's how they are. And just markers, different kinds of markers, fine liners few pit pens and that pen that should be in my bedroom I'll take that out of there then moving on this is all my ink stuff I've got calligraphy brushes that I use when I'm painting with inks they look like the ends are really messed up but once you wet them they to go back into a nice point. I've got water brushes that are filled with inks. That one's nearly empty. I have a, a lot of trouble with these leaking. Um, I'll be in the middle of doing something and all of a sudden the water pen starts leaking. I have ink everywhere. I scream and yell and run to the bathroom and throw the pen out. This is what do you call it? bamboo stick. Great for mucking around with inks. And my favourite, the Kakamori nip pen. It's life changing. I definitely recommend if you like using inks to use that. Then I've got just a glass, glass nip pen. Probably never use that again. Now I've got the brass one. <laughs> um, some more random markers. They're from just the local. We have a chain here in Australia called Office Works, and you can get these for few bucks and some tombos but seriously these ones that cost like a couple of bucks are as good as the tombos and so much cheaper so I've got basic set of turnip wash the Mungio um, oil pastels this has got my ink stone in it I won't get that out because I've got all that in another video in the Tokyo Art Hall video and some more ink sticks that my son gave me for Christmas. So they're quite pretty. I haven't only experimented a little bit with those so far, but I will play with them. So they're all in that bit and washi tape. Washi. This is my pencil case. I've got it in here but I quite often just pull it out and take it with me when I'm going out sketching. In fact if you see any of my sketching on location videos you've probably seen this pencil case. That's one of those ones that I can't do it while I'm holding the camera but the top pulls up and you zip it up and it's all enclosed or you can pop it down and have everything out. Ooh, have everything out and ready to use. Then just some more assorted pens and some of these little dropper guys when I'm using inks if I want to paint with the ink. Put that second I focus. No. When I want to paint with ink and I've got it in the palette just to add some water to it. They're very convenient and yeah just other random stuff. Molotov masking pen and that's my trolley. 
Thank you, Charlie. You've been a good friend. This is our art table where the actual work gets done. It's in another corner of the living room. You, know, you can probably tell by now most of our living space has been taken over by Art Studio. This is where I film. This is where I sketch a lot of the time. Sometimes I move the trolley over and sit on the couch and sketch. But it's much better to be doing it here where it's a bit more ergonomic. This table looks a mess, but we've actually got a plastic tablecloth to protect the, the white table. So underneath, it's quite pristine. But yeah, on top, it's like party on top, business underneath. Whoa! And that's pretty much it for our art studio in our living room. As you can see, we've got a small space, but we've tried to use it as efficiently as possible. We've actually had to arrange the furniture a few times to get things exactly how we want them, but I'm pretty happy with how it's set up at the moment. Thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen and want to see more of this kind of content, please hit the like button to let me know. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, then make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching this all the way through to the end and I'll see you next time. Bye.